Uh, shalom everyone, this uh, presentation is titled The Handwriting of Ordinances by me, Mintzel89. Uh, we will be looking at Colossians 2.14 Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. The word in the Greek there behind the word dog, uh, ordinances is dogmosin. As you can see here, dogmosin is in between the word tois and ho. It's dogmosin. The root is dogma. It's in Greek 1378. It means doctrine, decree, and order. Uh, this word is only found in Daniel uh, of the Septuagint, and every time it's used, in, it's in reference to a man-made rule or regulation by a king, be it Nebuchadnezzar or Darius. Either one, it's just man-made. That comes in return to a uh, the root word of dokeo. Greek 1380. Their definition is to be of opinion, think, suppose, to seem, to be accounted, reputed, to it seem to me, I think, judge, thus in question, it seems good to, pleased me, I determined. It's a verb. Um, so, with that understanding, we can identify that a dogma is really nothing more than an opinion, a, a decree or command made by opinion. Uh, we can check this out by context. In Colossians 2 8 says, Beware lest any man spoil you or strip you naked, um, in the Aramaic, through philosophy in vain deceit. After the tradition Tradition of men after the rudiment of the world and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the deity bodily. If you notice, the thing that we're to beware for is philosophy, vain deceit, tradition of men, and rudiment of the world. Or I either use philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men and after the rudiments of the world. Uh, by the way, the Trinity doctrine is a philosophy. It is not scripture. It is purely a tradition of men. Uh, keep in mind the, the two phrases, tradition of men and the rudiments of the world. In Colossians 2, verse 22-23, it says, Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why is though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances, touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are to perish with the using, after the commandments and doctrine of men, which things have indeed a show of wisdom and willed worship, and humility in neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. Um, most people say that this because they read, touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are to perish with the using, as you see in the red, um, that, that gives you a hint that this is talking about the Torah. This ordinance that is abolished, you know the law, because the law, the Torah, you have up a does give you a command to not touch certain things like the uh, uh, the uh, um, Ark of the Covenant, Covenant, and not to eat certain things such as pig. Uh, but what's very interesting is that this is in a parentheses, and what words in a parenthesis does, it defines a previous word, the word that comes before it. In this case, it defines what Paul means by ordinance. He means 
touch not, taste not, handle not. Then he said, these things are all perish with the using. Um, normally, if you take things, uh, all the words that are inside of a parenthesis, take it all out, um, the sentences will still be the same, the context will be the same, it's going to change nothing. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, notice how what he uses, rudiments of the world. The same thing we're to be aware of um, in verse 8. Why is the living in the world are ye subject to ordinances after the commandment and doctrine of men? Which things have... So here you see again, um, we are told to, that we are to not follow these ordinances that are after the commandments and traditions of men. The context can clearly give you a hint that the ordinances, the handwriting of dogma that was against us, is the commandments and ordinances of men. The Aramaic, however, gives you another impression. And by his mandates he blotted out the handwriting of our debts, which handwriting existed against us and took it from the myth and affixed it to his stake. Aramaic English New Testament by Andrew Gabriel Roth. Notice it says handwriting of our debts. And it also says he blotted out this handwriting by his commandments or by his mandate. Verses 11 through 12 says, and in him you have been circumcised with a circumcision without hands by casting off the flesh of sins by circumcision of Mashiach. And you have been buried with him by baptism, and by it you have risen with him while you received the power of Allah who raised him from the dead. And you who were dead in your sins and by the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has vivified with them, and he has forgiven us all our sins. The context is clear. Here, it's a death that our sins have been forgiven, our sins have been taken away, or the handwriting and the record of our debts has been taken away. So, here's the two things that ordinance can refer to. Number one, a record of our sins, as the Aramaic text suggests. And number two, the man-made rules, regulations, and opinions. Until next time, Shalom.